Hi, today I'm going to talk about how I designed and laser cut and painted this picture. It's a Christmas present for a family member. And this is their home, and it's based on images I pulled from Street View on Google Maps. Hi, welcome to Gray Lightning, my video blog about making things and playing games. And it's Christmas time, and I always try to make a few handmade presents. And this is, this is my favorite from this year. Um, this is a, a home, a, the home of a family member. And it actually has the address engraved underneath here, but I covered that up for privacy purposes for the video. And I tried asking some family members who lived close to this house to go get some pictures for me but it, they couldn't really get what I needed. And in fact, it's almost impossible to get a clear shot of most houses because they tend to have a lot of foliage and trees, bushes, whatever in front of them. So it's hard to get a clear picture. If you could, you could just draw over it in Illustrator and it would be straightforward. But of course, it's, it's not that easy. So um, I made do with what I could get off the internet. So I'll talk about those pictures I took um, using Street View on Google Maps, and then how I drew this in Adobe Illustrator. And I cut it on my laser cutter and then painted it using techniques that I've developed by painting miniatures. It's, there are four layers of the picture on the front. I've got a couple additional layers here on the back to make it thick enough to put the hanger on. So this will hang easily on a wall. So I'll talk about how I did all of this in this episode. I started with the satellite view in Google Maps, and in the bottom right-hand corner, there's actually a scale. So you can estimate the width of the house from that. And then this little person icon takes you to Street View. This is the best shot you can get of the front of this house. This is a left-angled shot. You see this side is set back from the rest of the house. Here's a right-angle shot, and you can see what this roof line looks like. In Photoshop, I put together a little composite that shows some of the parts that are missing because of the tree. I'm going to make this 11 inches by 11 inches, so the scale I've settled on is that 1 inch equals 6 feet. 6 feet is 72 inches, so that's a 1 to 72 scale, which is actually a pretty popular scale for uh, house drawings and models. I made a couple of green reference boxes to show the two stories of the house. And the width of these is based on that top view that we saw. And the height of each is based on the fact that the average story is 14 feet tall. So I place my composite image in the bottom of my Illustrator drawing and I stretch it to fit kind of into these reference boxes. The foundation elevates at a couple of feet, and the top story is always a little bit taller than just 14 feet. Stylistically, I had to decide, did I want to do an elevation drawing or a perspective drawing? So elevation drawings are what you see in blueprints, but a perspective drawing is what you would see if you actually had a clear camera shot of the house. I decided on a perspective drawing, but it's probably a little flatter than what you would see in real life. Things that are closer to you in the drawing are larger, and you can see the angled roof line that tells you it's really a perspective drawing. I want to do multiple layers, so I decided to put the porch on the uh, separate layer from the body of the house. Each layer of wood I want to cut needs to go on a separate layer in the drawing. Everything I'm drawing right now is in blue, which is engraving, but eventually I'm going to have to change that into both cut lines and engraving lines. The detached garage that's on the right-hand side will be on the very background of the picture, and the foreground will have the yard and the engraved address. To do the tree, I found a piece of clip art of a similar tree, and I modified it in Photoshop to move this right-hand side closer together, and then I flipped the whole thing horizontally, did an image trace, and ended up with this. At this point, I had basically all of the components, but I had to actually start working on the cut files. This is a new 11 by 11 uh, file. I've decided to put a quarter inch frame around the whole thing, and every layer is going to have this frame. The background, of course, with the garage is a solid piece of 11 by 11 inches. 
On every layer, I have to decide which lines I want to change from blue to red so that they cut. And I want this to be a summertime tree, so I have to put some foliage around these branches that I've created. I wanted to make a thicker backing so that I could mount the hanging hardware without the screws coming through, but I didn't want to make it too heavy, so that's why I created this frame piece, and I did two layers of that. I import each of these cut files into Lightburn. You can see how the frame is attached to this middle layer. That's how I'll line everything up easily. I make sure that the engraving happens before the cutting. And here is that middle layer cutting on the laser cutter. This is running at four time normal speed. Each layer, the most any layer took was about seven minutes. And here's that layer laying on top of the back piece. Now I'm cutting the porch and you see I had to cut out all those openings for the other layer to show through. This looks good so I'm going to move on to the top layer. And as I mentioned, of course, I've engraved the address, but uh, I'm not showing it in the video. So now it's all cut. I just need to paint it. I used the Citadel paints I used to paint my miniatures, and the first layer are base paints. They're very opaque. They're also the darkest version of each color. I leave the wood bare where I'm going to be gluing. When they're dry, I can lay them together to see how it's going to look, and here's how it looks after the base paints. Next I apply layer paints, and these are paints that are thinner than the base paints. You paint inside of the area that you painted with the base paints, and you leave some of the base paint showing on the edges. I did two layers of layer paints. Each layer is a little bit lighter, except for the white. The white is base paint, and I put several coats of that on. On the final layer, I used a fan brush to put the lighter greens on the tree over the branches. The sky was done by putting white at the horizon, dark blue at the top, and blending the two together. And I stained the frame and the address bar. When I was done painting, I glued it all together, and this is the final result. It's a very stylized version of this house, but it's also easily recognizable as the house, and the homeowners loved it. My next projects are gaming related, and I'm also going to have some 3D printing. So if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel and please turn on notifications.